Hi everyone, uh, I'm Arjan from SKB. Uh, I'm really happy everyone is joining uh, today for our iSeries webinar. And during this uh, webinar, uh, we're going to discuss our iSeries cases. So a big thank you to you all for joining us uh, today and taking the time uh, to sit behind the desk and learn a bit more. So uh, before we go further, I will just give a quick explanation how the webinar works. On the right hand side of your screen uh, above, there is a chat box where you can type your question. So when we're discussing uh, uh, various topics, if you have any question popping up, just type it there and we'll see if we can treat it during the webinar or we will uh, treat the question and answer it at the end. I will try to do everything to the best of my knowledge. So what will be discussed during today's webinar? Uh, we're going to start off with a small introduction to injection molding as a way of making uh, plastic products. We're then going to uh, discuss some material basics and I-series certifications. And then we'll go to the uh, most important part, and that's the I-series uh, benefits and features. After that, I will guide you through a bit of the assortment buildup and part number buildup, all the color availabilities, accessories, customizing options, information sources, and all questions that will not be treated during the webinar itself, uh, I will try to answer at the end and a little Q&A session. So let's take a quick glance at injection molding as a way of making products. So all our ice series are injection molded and uh, it's a way of producing plastics uh, next to rotational molding, blow forming and vacuum forming. Now, what you do with injection molded is uh, you need at first a mold that has the exact contours of the product you want to mold. These molds are very large and made from steel and are quite a big investment. The costs can run up to about 500,000 uh, US dollars for one size. So uh, when you have the mold in the machine and it closes, the heated material, which is kind of liquid, the, the plastic is uh, put through a nozzle in a charge into the mold itself, where it fills the part shapes that are in uh, the mold. So the larger the product, the bigger machine and the bigger clamping force for the mold, the pressure uh, to keep it together is uh, required. And so you can see on the images, the blue parts on the right image is the shape of the product that's being injection molded. After the cycle time, the mold open up, opens up and the injection pins, they push the product out for some after treatment. So at SKB currently we have 57 sizes, but we keep investing in more sizes to make the perfect fit uh, for the gear of our customers. And the ultimate goal in a few years time is to have 100 sizes available. So if we look at the plastic that's used uh, for the injection molder. Uh, I don't know if everybody's aware of that, but actually uh, the, uh, the polypropylene is a milky kind of color uh, in a grain that's been used. And to get any of these colors uh, available here only requires a few percent, three, four, five percent of the actual color material. So in this case, it's the yellow that you can see uh, that we've used for the case on my right hand side. So if we look at the material and uh, certification, um, well, all our cases are made from uh, uh, polypropylene and it's a special proprietary SKB compound, uh, which was developed especially with the technical demands that SKB has uh, had in mind when developing these cases. So the cases are used, uh, are made from virgin material. So there's no recycled regrind material in the cases. And that allows us to get a, a, a stronger impact resistance while using less material. Uh, another nice feature from um, the uh, virgin material is that it has a pretty smooth finish. So at the SKB cases, you don't see any splay of the material on the plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the splay you can see, for instance, with the Pelican or some other brands that use a regrind, is you can see these white grayish kind of marks, stains on the case itself. You won't have any of that with SKB. Uh, and when we talk about a better impact resistance, we have tested our cases independently and we have a 2.7 times higher impact resistance than the Pali protector case. So uh, that's a bit about our uh, uh, material. If we look at some certifications, uh, we also um, have a lot of independent uh, tests done on the cases. Uh, our cases are IP67, which means they're temporarily submersible and the test procedure is uh, 30 minutes underwater for a period of 30 minutes. However, uh, we have tested them also uh, one meter underwater for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, there was st still no leakage of water inside the case. So um, 
IP67 means ingress protection, and that stands for two, two digits. The first digit is for the dust tightness, and the second digit is for the water tightness. And you can see it on the slide, it has various grades of dust and water tightness. Our cases are IP67, NIL standard uh, 4150J uh, 4, certified, and also IP67 rated and tested. Besides the IP testing, we also did a MIL standard 810 uh, uh, range uh, of, of testing. And these are very stringent and cover many different aspects. So they will cover a transit drop, an impact resistance, a temperature range test, a vibration test, a salt spray uh, corrosion test, uh, and so on. So uh, we have them all done on our cases. Um, so if we look at the uh, next slide, you can see the uh, UV radiation um, uh, standard we have, and our cases are UV8. Um, and that is a, a type that stands for uh, Kilo Langley, and it means 8,000 Kilo Langley, and that's a, a number uh, that stands for the amount of solar radiation or UV radiation that falls on a single square centimeter annually per year. And depending upon the region in the world, we have more or less solar radiation, so more or less uh, degrading from the material. But if you look uh, at the cycle uh, uh, of 120 in Europe and 120 to 160 in the US, that means with 8,000, uh, it will be a, a very strong and good case for more uh, years than you will probably be actually using the case. So that's a bit about the injection molded, the material, the testing. Now let's look at one of the biggest benefits of our I-series case, and it's the latch. We have the patented trigger release latch, and I will show you on the screen how it works. So you have a small uh, uh, angle on the trigger, which you can open by pulling on the trigger, as you can see here, and then the angle goes down, which is locked behind uh, a part of the case. So only when you use the trigger, you can actually open the latches. As long when they're closed, not even a hard drop from an altitude will open the latches. On the slide, you can see how they're built up. And our latches consist of the latch itself, a trigger, a trigger spring, and a, a pin to load the, latch, the latches. So on the blue screen, on the blue arrow, you can see where the spring and uh, mounting pin are connecting the trigger into the latch itself. And uh, once you pull it, it will open, and you can see that on the next slide. So when you pull the blue arrow, the trigger, it will unlock uh, the, the latch, and you can open the case. Now, it's securely uh, uh, fixed behind the strike flange on the case, but it's still very easy to open with one finger, as I will demonstrate to you now on this case. So you can see how easy and comfortable they are to open. Literally do it with one finger and you can open them and close them even without a sound. Now, the good thing about these trigger latches is that they're pretty uh, pretty large, so you can still open them with a working glove when you're in uh, at work or when you're in cold areas or anywhere working. And the cases are made from polypropylene. The latches are made from glass-filled nylon. So uh, when you look at the latches as well, should something happen to the latch, it's also not a benefit from our I-series, you can see it on the next slide. You can very easily replace the latch. The latches are fixed with a mounting pin. So I will show you quickly on the screen. This is the pin that's used to mount the latches in the case body. So once the case or the latch is broken by any accident or any uh, problem, you can very easy, easily use a hammer, a drive pin and a plier, and just tap the mounting pin out so you can just pull it out, put the new latch in, put a hammer, and put the mounting pin back in the case body, and you have swapped the latches for a new one. You also need to do that when you order a standard case and, for instance, mount TSA latches. So another um, feature of the I-Series are the uh, stainless steel reinforced locking hasps that are on the case on your screen, where you can easily fit a padlock and uh, to secure the contents in your case. So we have one reinforced locking has, has typically next to every latch that's on the case. So the smaller case models have two latches and the larger case models have up to four to six reinforcement hasps. 
And the only models that don't have the reinforcement slabs, uh, hasps are the models uh, be below 10 inch long. So uh, to make sure that when you travel with the case and you go to uh, altitude, for instance, in an airplane where there's a pressure dif uh, difference, and to keep our cases uh, completely uh, uh, watertight, uh, we have a breather valve. So it's often called a pressure relief valve, but technically it's a breather valve. And it consists of a small uh, Teflon membrane that keeps uh, air flowing freely inside the case and the ambient environment, but the membrane keeps water molecules out. So you don't actually need a large pressure uh, difference. As soon as there's a pressure difference, you know, air can flow freely between inside the case and the ambient environment through those breather valves. Again, these breather valves are uh, field replaceable should you accidentally break it. But in reality, uh, we don't see many uh, uh, things happening with the valve in practice. So that's a bit about the breather valve. Uh, pressure relief valve is what we have on our rotor molded cases, for instance. And there, there's a small spring and a valve. And as soon as the difference, uh, uh, the, the pressure difference is one uh, pressure per square inch, the valve opens up and let the air flow uh, between the uh, inside the case and the ambient environment. So another benefit of our I series are our overmolded handles. So uh, the cases are made from polypropylene. The handles are made from ABS because it's a strong material. It's a bit heavier, but in this case, you want to choose for the handle for a bit of a stronger material. So it's ABS. So here you can see before the overmolding the bare ABS, and you can see the pins which are used for the overmolding of the TPE, or otherwise called a thermoplastic elastomer. So this is the finished overmolded handle, which has a nice, uh, comfortable uh, grip when lifting it. And especially the more weight you put in the case, uh, the larger uh, the strain on your, your, your hands will be especially if it's a bit of a sharp plastic and a hard plastic, you can really feel it cutting into your fingers. With the overmolding, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, so you can see where they're fitted uh, on the screen. Uh, so they're also mounted with a mounting pin, a bit similar to uh, what we used for our latches. And that also means um, you can very easily replace the handle as well. So we, the, another thing about the handle before I forget is the snap down function. So when you transport it, it won't start, you know, if you can see the case from the side, you know, the handle starts flip-flopping. Now, you can hear it, it snaps down and it stays in position unless you really give it a small shank. Uh, we've tested the handles uh, with 100 pounds in terms of pull strength, uh, and that's about 45 kilos, and that's actually more than a single person can carry or is actually allowed to carry by regulations. So. Just a quick, on the next slide, a quick show of how to replace the handle. It's pretty similar to the uh, latch. You need a hammer, a drive pin, and a plier, and you just tap the mounting pin out on the other end as well, take the handle off, and do reverse action, and put the handle back in the new one then. So it's really done within the blink of an eye. Uh, another benefit of our I-Series uh, I'm going to show you is our one-touch pull handle which unlike competitors is actually uh, one touch, the case slides off a bit. So you just only need to press the red button and the handle will come out from the case. So if you put them on the floor, the case disappears, but you can see it very easily opens up. And the good thing about the handle, which you can see on this image as well, is that the pool handle is actually recessed on the case. If you see here the bumpers, so it's recessed or flush mount, as we call it. And that means that it won't get stuck when you move it or when you pull it or when you transport it. Uh, and so you can't damage the actual pull handle itself. So you can see on the screen on the image um, on the pull handle uh, how it's mounted. And you can also see how the wheels are mounted. And they're ABS wheels, so again, high strength and over molded. Uh, so they don't make as much noise when you walk with the case on the streets and you hear the wheels rattling. So they're a lot more silent uh, that way. Again, pull handle, by the way, it's done with the screws and the wheels. Should there be an accident, all feel replaceable. Um, the other component uh, what, which we use, and that's kind of interesting to show, is the gasket. 
We use an EPDM sponge holocore holo rubber gasket, and it has a small uh, hole. I'm trying to show you. You can see it, maybe. Yep. So the hollow core makes it very easily for you uh, or, or for the rubber, and you can see it as well, to expand uh, in um, uh, the profile of the case. Because when you see, it's better to show probably on the Desert 10 case, that on the base of the case, there's a male profile that needs to go in the female profile in the lid where the gasket is mounted. And the hollow core, you can see it on the slide, uh, when the mill profile uh, pushes uh, the, the EPDM sponge rubber, it, the hollow core allows it to expand better and ensuring a better sealing of the case. You can see it on the slide. Uh, it's a bit bigger. You can see the hollow core. You can see how it's mounted inside the case, and it allows for a better compression, uh, compression and sealing. And the heat seam is also a better way. Some competitors glue it together, but then it actually gets kind of stiff um, when you... Um, uh, when you try to close the case, because at that part of the ceiling, it's a bit harder. So it allows for less expansion and less uh, better ceiling. And here you can see on the screen a heat seam. You can see it. So it's perfectly seamed together without making it that much harder. So another benefit is the hinge. You can see, uh, I don't have one here, but it's a stainless steel hinge that has actually a bit of flat ends, uh, a larger on the end, so it's actually friction fitted. So it has a, 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 some pressure that it won't be able to, to slide out. And is also glued in for uh, durable uh, durability for resistance, uh, durability and resisting vibration. Uh, that covers pretty much of uh, the features of the case. Uh, I will be showing you a bit of a glance on the part number buildup and as you may or may not know, uh, all the I-series SKUs or part numbers actually tell you the dimensions of the case. So if you have like on the screen a 22, 17, 12, it actually means measured on the internal dimensions. It's 22 inch long, it's 17 inch wide, and it's uh, 12 inch high, and that includes the base and the lid of the case. So 12 inch is the, the combination of the base and the lid of the case. Um, so when we measure the inside or the internal dimensions, uh, something to keep in mind, as with it, this case, I can try to show you. It's a black case. When we measure it, you can see there's some, some small cavities at the sides where the pool handle is mounted. So we actually measure the internal height from the top where the pool handle is mounted. So not the deeper parts with the cavities on the side, because you actually can't really use them as well. So that tells you on the SKU the length, width, and height of the case. Uh, another thing on the next slide is what you can see is the color of the case and the variant of the case. So the red square marks uh, a letter, and that stands for the color, whereas a B is black, um, O is um, uh, orange, uh, a Y is for yellow, a M is for uh, olive drab, uh, and a T is, for instance, for this one, a Desert 10 case. The last letter uh, of the SKU uh, says you something about the variant. E is empty, C means cube foam, D means dividers. Um, so it tells you a bit on which model and variant you are having. Uh, so a few of the accessories uh, you can see uh, on the next one are the colored handles. This one is the black one. On the slide, you can see the colored options. Now, they are great for creating a corporate identity if the color matches the color of the company you are selling it to. Another good thing about it is if you're selling multiple cases in the same size or a similar size, it also is great for identification of what actually is inside the case and allows people to understand what they need and it can just grab it from the warehouse without actually having to open up the case, having a look inside, putting the case back and searching uh, for the right case. So if you want to change the color of the latch, if you have a larger PO or a larger order, we can have to fit it at the factory after production. If it's only for 10, 20, or 50 pieces, you can order the colored handles and make them field replaceable or replace them in the field as they are field replaceable. Uh, another very popular option uh, with our I-Series is the TSA uh, locking latch. 
and it's here and the TSA stands for Transport Safety Authority and they will check the contents in your case when traveling to the US or some other uh, countries and you can replace these on your case by as shown previously tapping out the mounting pin with a hammer and a drive pin and replacing it with this one they come with a lock and the good news is that TSA and US Customs uh, also have a lock so they can open your case without actually jigsawing their way inside the case to have a look at your contents. The other option we have is the TSA padlocks, which you can use in combination with these reinforced um, uh, stainless steel reinforced locking hasps that are on each I-series case. So those are two accessories very commonly and frequently sold. Uh, another option is uh, the panel mount kits, which you can show uh, see on the next um, slide. And you can use those um, uh, clips with brass strap, an O-ring, and a screw for mounting a panel on the top of the base. So the panel is not included as often. It's a custom design. Uh, but these uh, mounting, uh, mounting kits will make sure that all the preparation is done. So you can mount the panel on the top of the base, which you can see on the next image, how it's done. And it's for a finished presentation and, and sleek look or easy utilization of a demonstration with various connectors or cables or a live demonstration. So that are more like the basic accessories we offer at SKB. Um, we also do some customizing. And the customizing can be done with colored handles, the different colors, um, and custom colors are also possible. So we have standard colors available, sometimes from stock, other, other times we need uh, an order for 100 or 250 pieces, but standard is orange, green, uh, desert tan, and um, those are the standard colors. If you look at a custom color, uh, that's also uh, possible, but you require uh, a lot more quantities because we need to buy the raw material in bulk and start making a sample and do some validation. So, that only typically starts with 1,500, 2,000 pieces and upwards to do a real custom color for your customer. Another option we can do at the factory, I don't have a case here with me, is screen printing, uh, hot stamping or a custom label. Now with uh, screen printing, uh, we can do it here locally. You can be probably locally at a source near you or it can be done in the US. Uh, hot stamping is also an option they provide at the factory. And that's basically a silicon rubber stamp that applies uh, the uh, logo on the case in color. So we have standard colors available for hot stamping. It's red, black, gold, and white. Uh, the hot stamp itself, so for the, the silicon stamp, it, it costs about 500 to, to, to 700 euros, depend a bit on the size. And then uh, it costs a few, uh, a few euros to actually do the print on the case. The print can only uh, be done uh, in mono color. Uh, because it's very difficult or impossible to first make a stamp in, in white and then keep the case in exactly the same position and apply a different one to complete the logo with, for instance, red. So it's only monocolor as opposed to screen printing. Uh, another option, which is a, a lot more affordable, especially for smaller quantities, is to replace the sticker that is put on each case, so the label. You can have a custom design here, and you know it, it, it's a really uh, good alternative for the hot stamp or the screen printing. Uh, so the sticker itself, it's uh, a polycarbonate backside printed, and it means the actual print is not on the surface, but behind it. So it's less sensitive for scratches and damages. So it's a very durable uh, solution. And also uh, it doesn't require any investment in, in tooling. So from a few hundred pieces onwards, uh, they really cost maybe one to two euros per sticker, and then includes the application uh, of the sticker on the case at the factory if you pass your PO uh, at the same time. So that's a very uh, interesting and affordable solution. So that covers also the customizing options we have, as you, most of our partners do the actual phone customizing. Uh, that's your expertise and, and your uh, added value. So this is what we can help you with at uh, the factory or locally here. Uh, now I want to show you a few information sources. Uh, we have a, an I-series leaflet, which you can ask from us. We will be happy uh, to send it out. We have a digital or hard copy, so you can go uh, either way. And in the leaflet, you can see all dimensions, all weights, 
uh, and all options and it will tell you if it has a pool handle or not it will show you the empty weight uh, so it's a great source of information and it will help you to easily select the right product for your customer uh, we also have a comparison uh, chart which shows our cases and the same equivalent from the paddock protector or storm case Again, if you have another case from another manufacturer and look uh, and want to know the, uh, um, the size we can offer, just give us a call, drop us a line per email, and we will be happy to help you select the right case. Um, we also have a login on our website where you can download a lot of content, a lot of videos, a lot of instruction manuals. So you can see on the picture on the screen, if you go to our homepage, on the top right side, there's the, uh, uh, a link that says partner login. And from there, uh, you can go to the partner dashboard. And that's the next slide, which has a, a screenshot of the content you can find there. So you can download there all data sets. Sometimes we have translations. You can download all images, installation guides, testing documents, brochures, leaflets, really all the content we have, we put on our partner dashboard. If there's anything you require that's not there, uh, give us a shout. I'm not sure. We will be able to provide you with that information, but we'll give it our best go. So that covers about um, my part of this uh, presentation uh, webinar. Uh, just a quick uh, few takeaways. Um, so what we learned today is the special uh, compound polypropylene, which give us the advantage of lightweight and better impact resistance. Uh, I've showed you the in, uh, independent testing and certification. We have the test reports here in-house, so if you require them, uh, let me know and we can send them out to you. Uh, we've taken a look at SKB's best features like the latches, the overmolded handle, and the smooth finish of the case, as you can see on the black one here, no splay uh, because of the virgin material. Uh, we've uh, walked together through emotions of the uh, uh, part number identification, internal length, width, and height, and also color and variant and uh, the customizing options we can offer you uh, at the factory so if you have any questions any at all feel free to ask them now and um, if you want to know anything you can also uh, when you think about something later just drop us an email you can replay the webinar uh, in case it went too fast or something was unclear and when you watch the replay you can also uh, ask um, the questions in the text box and they will be emailed to us so any questions, feel free to answer them or to ask them now, and I will try to answer them in the next few minutes. So there's no question. Ah, there's one. Ah, so uh, a question about uh, when you mount the uh, the panel mount clips, if the lifetime warranty still exists. That's a bit of a tricky one, but if it's done in a proper way, using the right holes and the right uh, the right tools, yes, the warranty uh, still exists. But again, it's. If, if people use uh, uh, not the right uh, drill or not the right tooling, uh, that's so that's a bit in between. But typically, if you do it in the correct way, or if we will do it for you, the warranty will still exist. Any more questions? Uh, the pressure valves, the metal one, um, is a question coming in. Uh, it's used uh, not on the injection molded cases. It's used on the rotational molded cases as the uh, shock racks or the three are um, uh, rotationally molded boxes, our larger rotationally molded boxes. They have the metal pressure relief valve. And the difference is these ones here uh, that I showed today are a breather valve and it has a Teflon membrane. So this one 
doesn't have actually a valve. It's only a Teflon membrane uh, mounted in the construction that allows air to flow and keep the water molecules out. And the pressure relief valves, uh, the metal ones, they actually have a spring and a valve and the valve opens uh, with a pressure difference of one pressure per square inch, one PSI. So they're used on the rotational molded boxes. So if no more questions, then um, we'll probably wrap it up here again. If something pops to mind later, uh, don't worry. Just send us an email. You can send it directly to me, to sales at SKB, uh, or you can even uh, watch the replay of the webinar. And uh, the option for asking questions is still open, and all questions answered there uh, will be sent to us by email. So any questions, feel free to ask them now. If not, I will wrap up in about 30 seconds from now. And uh, then I just want to thank everybody uh, for joining us. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time. And we hope this uh, small guidance and explanation of the benefits and features and how it's made will actually help you to sell more cases and that will make us all happy. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions later on, drop them by email and that will close it up for, you, for me for now. So thanks a lot and hopefully see you next time for one of our other webinars.